Hi everyone, it's Ed, and today in Photoshop I'm going to be showing you how to render an image. For those of you who don't know, rendering an image is one of those vital things that you've got to know on Photoshop if you're creating a website or if you're just hoping to get good at it. <clears throat> so rendering an image, what's it all about? Well, rendering an image is where you take a selection um, of an image and you place it into a different image. So, for example, you take someone's face and you place it um, in a different image. This is most commonly used on uh, green screen filming or, and stuff like that. If you haven't heard of green screens, don't worry, you're not going to be needing them today. Um, but it's basically taking someone's image and, for example, you could put it in front of a mountain backdrop scenery. So it l would look like they're standing in front of a mountain or taking someone's face and putting text by it with a gradient overlay. That's great for website banners. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going to teach you how to, do, uh, how to do today. Sorry. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get your original image. Mine's here, um, and you want to right click and you want to click Open with Adobe Photoshop. Uh, now with your original image, make sure that it's got a plain white background or a plain, plain background of some description. It doesn't necessarily matter what colour. Um, okay, so there we go, it's loaded up. Sorry about the poor quality, that's just my cam, uh, cam filming uh, software. Right, okay. So you want to click on the magic wand tool um, and you want to select the background. As you can see, it's only selected some of it with the marching ants, which are the black and white dotted things. So you want to go up to the top and you want to click tolerance. Let's make it bigger so there's more tolerance, so 30. And as you can see, it selected the whole thing. Now you just want to press the delete button. Now it's selected uh, and it's gone. Uh, and as you can see, we missed out corner, a, a small section here. So you want to do the same there, and now you want to right click and deselect to stop the marching ants, and there you go, they've gone. Let's go back to the arrow tool, and now let's minimise that screen. Now you want to create a new screen, so File, New, or Control N. Uh, this image is 500 by 200, 500 height, width 200, so we'll make this a height of 550, so just above, uh, and the width can be 800. So <clears throat> that's just so it's a bit it's a bit bigger in height than my original image uh, and it's a lot bigger in width so you can add cool backgrounds to it. So now let's open that up and there you go. That's the new image. Now you would want to just drag this one and drop it in the new one. Um, and now you can close this. It'll ask if you want to save. No, because you don't want to save the original image with a black background. Unless you do. Um, now let's do the same thing with the magic wand tool. Delete that area and delete that area. Um, and now to get rid of the marching ants again, right click, deselect. Go to the arrow tool and drag it where you want it in the image. So I'm going to place it just there. So in the left bottom corner. Um, now let's go to the original bottom layer beneath the layer of me. Choose the gradient that you like the look of. I'm going to choose light blue to dark blue. And you want to hold down on shift and with your left uh, mouse, drag it down, let go with your left mouse, and then let go of the shift key. Uh, and as you can see, the gradient's now there. I can assure you it's better quality when it's in real life, but this is my video camera editing software. As you can see, there are kind of sharp edges around my render, so we want to double click here to try and fix it in a very subtle but clever way. Uh, and this, this layer style box should pop up. You want to click Outer Glow. You want the outer glow to be 100%, or you can play around, whatever. Um, and now let's change it to the white colour. As I said, play around. If you don't like white, maybe a light yellow or a light blue or whatever. Size, we want 10, and now we want an inner glow too. Um, we want opacity of 20. Actually, no, I'm going to change 50. Select the colour you want again. I'm picking white. Um, size is 8. Um, and you want to click OK. Um, as you know, let's add a drop shadow just to give that extra effect. Uh, again, it's up to you where you put the opacity. The angle, again, up to you. That's where the light looks as though it's coming off and hitting, a, creating a shadow. As you can see, that black thing there. Um, so you can just play around with the angle for a bit. Particularly like that. I'm going to change it to 50%, so it's a lighter shadow. It's a more subtle shadow. Change the angle till you get what you want, what you're looking for. Uh, click OK. After you're happy with your settings, um, 
And now you can, you're really free to do whatever you want. You didn't have to add a gradient in the first place. You could have added a, a background image. Uh, you can add text, so Ed Johnson, for instance. You can add really anything that you want to the image. So it's just uh, an example of how to superimpose your image in. Um, maybe add some brushes with swirls or stuff behind me or something. Um, but there you go. Uh, and now I'm going to show you how to use this um, to make a banner size thing. So we'll cr create a new one, Control N or um, File New. Width 800 because that's what a banner is usually by 100, which is what standard banner should usually be. 80 to 100 is the height. Um, and now we want to get the layer with me, and you want to drag that again onto this new layer, and you want to drag it down till you get my face. There we go. Um, move it around to where you want, um, and now you can close this image with the gradient. Um, you can save it if you want. I'm not going to for now. We'll maximize this, just make it better. Um, and now we'll go on to layer 1, which is the layer behind me. Just do, again, shift um, and left click, drag down. Uh, again, the same gradient effect. Um, uh, we can move that around a bit. You can use the arrow keys to move it around, or you can drag and drop. Make sure it's selected on that layer before you start moving it. Uh, you can use the arrow keys, or you can use the mouse to drag around. Arrow keys give it a lot more control. Um, Let's add some text to this. BB Freebie on YouTube. Ooh. BB Freebie on YouTube. Um, make it a bit bigger. So 70, 60, sorry. Um, and then drag it around to where you like the look of it on your screen. Um, so into when you're happy with it, you can move you can move the the uh, layer, the render. Um, in this case my face, you can move it around to wherever you want um, until you're happy with the result um, and that's really the YouTube banner that I could put on um, or a website banner that I could put on um, with my render in it so that's how to do it um, play around, uh, have fun and <laughs> thanks for watching